Hi and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Dina. So today, me and my friend will explain about topic application of mixture problem in real world. So before we start, I will introduce our team members. So let's go. So let's start with the first one, which is Suryatul Azwa. The second one is Roshahira Yardina. The third one is me, Nur Dina Batricia. And the last one is Nur Amira. So let's move to the introduction of mixture problem. A mixture problem is when two different solutions are mixed together with known characteristics such as concentration combined to form a mixture with a certain properties. So to make you understand more about this topic, let me give you some example of mixture problem in real world. Now I will give you three examples of mixture problem without we realize. The first example is when a driver needs to use two types of fuel to fill the tank for optimal performance for the car. The second example is when a farmer needs to create fertilizer by blending different types of nutrients to meet the nutritional needs for the plant. The last one is when a painter needs to combine two different colors to get a certain shade of colors. Hi, my name is Roshayira. So today I would like to explain the problem statement. So in this question, a 50 liter water dispenser initially contains of 30 grams of sugar are dissolved in 35 liter of iced tea. A syrup solution containing 0.02 gram per liter of sugar flows into the water dispenser at a rate of 2 liter per minute. The well mixed solution are flows out at a rate of 1 liter per minute. So, find the number of grams of sugar in the water dispenser in any time t in minutes. Okay, next, find the amount of sugar in the water dispenser after 15 minutes. Okay, then find the how much of the sugar in the water dispenser when the solution is about to overflow. Okay, lastly, determine the concentration of the solution in the water dispenser at the point of the overflow. Okay, so firstly, uh, we need to write down the information that we get from the question. So, let A be the amount of sugar in the water dispenser at any time T. Initial solution of iced tea equals to 25 liter. The amount of initial syrup solution is equals to 30 gram. The inflow or outflow rate is dl over dt. And the concentration of the syrup solution in the inflow or outflow is dA over dl. For the inflow, the dA over dl is equal to 0.02 gram per liter. And the dl over dt is equal to 2 liter per minute. Okay, for the outflow, the dA over dl is equal to A divided by 25 plus 2 minus 1 T gram per liter. And the dl over dt is equal to 1 liter per minute. Okay, so after we get the information, we can make a solution for the question A which is find the number of grams of sugar in the water dispenser in any time t in minutes. Okay, the mixing of two liquids in the container could be represented by dA over dt equals to dA over dl times with dl over dt for the inflow minus with dA over dl times with dl over dt for the outflow. Okay, so we need to substitute the information that we get earlier. It is equal to 0.02 gram per liter times with 2 liter per minute for the inflow minus with A divided by 25 plus T gram per liter times with 1 liter per minute for the outflow. After we calculate, we get the 0.04 minus with A divided by 25 plus T. And then we need to rearrange the equation to get the linear differential equation which is LDA. In this linear differential equation, we can get PT equals to A divided by 25 plus T and the PT equals to 0.04. Okay, after we get the PT and the QT value, we need to find the integrating factor which is IF equals to exponent the power of integration of PT. After that, we substitute the PT value into the IF and then we get the IF equals to 25 plus T. And then we multiply throughout the IF which is D over DT multiplied with IF times with A equals to IF times with QT. Okay, after we substitute the IF and the QT value, we need to integrate the both sides. Okay, it should be 25 plus T multiplied with A equals to T plus 0.04 over 2T squared plus C. 
and then we need to rearrange them to a in terms of t which is a equals to t plus 0.02 t squared plus c divided by 25 plus t. Next, we need to find the value of c to complete this equation by using t equals to 0 and the, the initial amount of syrup solution equals to 30 gram. We substitute the a naught value and the t value into the equation and then we get c equals to 750. And then we substitute back the C value into the original equation which is A equals to T plus 0 0.02 T squared plus 750 divided by 25 plus T. For question B, we must to find the amount of sugar in water dispenser after 15 minutes. So from the equation, we know that T is equals to 15 and C is equal to 750. And we must to find the amount of sugar which is A. A is equals to T plus 0 0.02 T square plus C divided by 25 plus T. And then we substitute T equals to 15 and C equals to 750 into the equation. And we get A is equals to 19.2375 gram. Next, question C. How much sugar in the water dispenser when the solution is about to overflow? So overflow. We know that um, from the equation, t, we must to find t and a. So 25 plus t is equal to 50. So t is equal to 25 minutes. a is equal to t plus 0 0.02 t square plus 750 divided by 25 plus t. And then we substitute t is equal to 25. And then we get a is equal to 15.75 gram. For the last question, we need to determine the concentration of the solution in the water dispenser at the point of overflow. Overflow is equal to M, which is amount of sugar about to overflow, divided by maximum volume tank, equals to 15.75 divided by 50, and we get 0 0.315 gram per liter. In conclusion, we have learned the first order differential equations are used in real life to solve many problems, including mixture problems. Moreover, the application of first order differential equations to mixture problems provide a powerful and versatile mathematical framework. The use of ODE in mixture problems facilitates a deeper understanding of the underlying mechanisms governing concentration changes. There are more examples for application of first order linear differential equation other than mixture problems, which are to determine electric current, cholesterol level, and population of certain animal species.